Welcome to the online training, Reducing Methane in Residential Water Well Systems. It is provided to you by the National Groundwater Association with support from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. This training takes about 15 minutes. The time you invest in it could protect your drinking water quality and your health. Methane is a gas that can be produced by certain geologic formations, decomposition of organic material in rocks, or by microbes. It can occur dissolved in groundwater or as a free gas. The occurrence of dissolved methane in groundwater is not unusual and it is not limited to areas of oil and gas production. Analyses from throughout the United States show up to 60 percent of all wells may have detectable levels of dissolved methane. What are the risks for methane? Methane in the air can create an explosion hazard in poorly ventilated or confined areas. Methane also can cause unconsciousness or death by suffocation when encountered in enclosed or confined spaces. Prolonged exposure to methane must be avoided in places where it can displace breathable oxygen, such as in basements or enclosed well houses. When oxygen levels fall below 19.5 percent, hypoxia, or a lack of oxygen within the body's organs, will occur. Symptoms of hypoxia can include headache, impaired attention and thought processes, decreased coordination, impaired vision, dizziness, nausea, impaired judgment, and unconsciousness, or even death. What is the measurement of methane? Dissolved methane in drinking water is not currently classified as a health hazard. Generally, dissolved methane less than 10 milligrams per liter requires no immediate action. Levels greater than 10 milligrams per liter could indicate that methane may be of concern. Regulatory action levels for dissolved methane concentrations vary by state and should be reviewed. The exact concentration of dissolved methane in water capable of producing an explosion depends on 1. water temperature, 2. ventilation of the well, 3. percent composition of the gas, and 4. air movement within the structure. Periodic monitoring of dissolved methane in water may be prudent until seasonal variations and the effects of day-to-day -day water use are understood. Sampling for dissolved methane in groundwater requires proper methodology to ensure accurate results. It is recommended that sampling be done by appropriately trained professionals. Regarding methane released into indoor air, Generally, concentrations between 5.3% of air volume and 15% of air volume can create an explosion risk in poorly ventilated or confined areas. Question. The reason methane is in groundwater is because of nearby oil and gas production. True or false? The answer is false. While oil and gas production can lead to methane in groundwater, methane also comes from decomposition of organic material in rocks or microbes. Analyses from throughout the United States show up to 60 percent of all wells may have detectable levels of methane. Question. Methane can pose a health risk in terms of 1 physical injury due to explosion, 2. poisoning, 3. suffocation, 4. skin burns due to corrosiveness, 5. 
numbers 1 and 3, and 6, numbers 2 and 4. The answer is numbers 1 and 3. A sufficient concentration of methane released into indoor air can pose an explosion hazard. Also, sufficient oxygen displacement by methane in a confined or enclosed space can result in suffocation and hypoxia, a lack of oxygen in the body's organs. Question. Periodic monitoring of dissolved methane in a well is advised until seasonal variation and the effects of day-to-day -day water use are understood. True or false? The answer is true. Such monitoring may reveal that problematic methane occurs only at certain times of the year, thus warranting action by the well owner to reduce methane in the water. How can I address unsafe levels of methane? Any water well with methane present should have a gas venting system installed at the well to vent gas to the atmosphere. This may allow a portion of methane gas to escape before it can accumulate in the well distribution lines, pressure tanks, water heaters, water treatment equipment, or well houses. This option is most effective for dealing with free gas bubbling through the water. However, this method is unlikely to be fully effective against the portion of gas dissolved in groundwater. If groundwater with methane is pumped into a pressurized tank, in rare circumstances, when a faucet or similar valve is opened, the water can flame when ignited as the gases are released from the water. In this case, a venting system installed in the water tank components is required. It may be possible to release methane outside the building using a specially configured pressurized water tank that aerates the water to release the dissolved methane gas, which can then be vented to the atmosphere. The vent pipe should extend above the eaves of the well house or home where the tank is located. Aeration where water enters the house also can help remove methane. Aeration equipment must be designed or modified by the manufacturer to safely remove methane gas. A totally closed system should be provided to prevent any methane from leaking out of the system and into the building interior. Check with these organizations about whether a treatment system product has been independently tested. The National Sanitation Foundation at www.nsf.org and the Water Quality Association www.wqa.org Question. Any water well with methane present should have a gas venting system installed at the well to vent gas to the atmosphere. True or false? The answer is true. A well cap designed to vent gas, including methane, will allow a portion of the gas to escape before it can accumulate in the water distribution lines, pressure tanks, water heaters, water treatment equipment, or well houses. Question. Aeration equipment installed where the water enters the house introduces air into the water to release dissolved methane so that it can be effectively vented away to the atmosphere. True or false? The answer is true. Aeration equipment must be designed or modified by the manufacturer to safely remove methane gas. A totally closed system should be provided to prevent any methane from leaking out of the system and into the building interior. Visit www.wellowner.org 
to find out more about useful well owner tools, including a private well owner hotline, the private well owner tip sheet, more online well owner lessons, and free well owner webinars. Don't forget to check wellowner.org for other online lessons if you have questions like, what should I test my water for? How should I maintain my well? How can I keep my water safe? What should I do if my well floods? How do I get water treatment? And what should I know about getting a new well?